Howdy, howdy, folks. Welcome back to Hoot and a Half. I'm Matt King. And I'm Mike Sheffer. And today on our podcast, we have the one, the only, Susie Antonian. Are you waiting for me to interject? Yeah, you can interject. She was great. <laughs> she, was, she was a hoot and a half. That's what I was telling Jared, too. I was like, she was literally the definition of a hoot and a half. And I'm so glad that we had time to sit down with her because I love talking to her. She can talk to no end. Yeah, she's a great... Like when she, I said this in, in the conversation with her, too, but when she walks into a room, wherever we are, the energy just gets lifted because she's always just bringing positive energy wherever she is. Yeah, and there's so much to her that I never knew, and I'm really glad we got to talk about that and really get to know her. So guys, enjoy this episode with Susie Antonian. I hope you enjoy. Did you pronounce that right? Antonian? Yeah. Well, you'll, we're about to find you're, out. You're about to find <laughs> out. A N T O N Y A N. So Antonian. It's Antonian. It's not Antonian. What? Like you're I'm saying not, the same thing twice. No, I, there's Antonian and then Antonian. Oh, you're just putting a different. Emphasis. Is there an E N or no. is it Antonian? It's Y A N. Y A N. Yeah. How many syllables? Listen, I haven't been to school in a long time. I don't know. I don't know. What, <laughs> Antonian. Oh, See, well, that's, that's what he's saying. saying. It how I originally was right. saying it. It's but not you... Antonian. Hold up. Did the podcast already start? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys should have like some sort of like letting people know that it started or something. I, I like it starting naturally, though. Yeah. I always think like yeah. the conversations you have before it's a good... you know it's recording is when it's really good. Right. It's a good little sneak attack where I do the test and then I don't say that we're recording, but I know that we can start and then Got we'll it. start the conversation. But yeah, okay. we're going. I should just be aware that I can't really breathe really heavily or else people won't be able to hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <gasps> yeah, so <don't>. then, guys? <laughs> Have you been on a podcast before? On a podcast? I've, I've actually, I was like a guest appearance on like David's podcast. But not any other ones? Not any other ones. Oh, okay, cool. Not like a full on like Susie podcast, no. This is like a full this sit is first time, one. all you. All me. We it's get to a, learn everything. Everything, anything. Did you guys, have, do you have questions written down? Oh, yeah. I have a few things written down. But where is it? Where is the paper? It, it, it's not oh, on it's a paper. Like, it's, it's not like a notepad. I have it like on my notes on my phone. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. I so if, if you see me on my phone, it's not that I'm bored talking to you, Susie, which I can never be bored talking to you. Got it. Um, but I'm glad we're doing this. Me too. I feel like you and me, we don't like... We have like a really good bond, but uh -huh. we don't like spend enough time together. Hundred percent. You know what's crazy? We literally spend so much time with each other. Whenever oh. where where was that state? We went to Utah. Yeah, we, you and me went to Utah. We went to Utah together, but literally, like I I feel like I didn't even we didn't even know each other before that. It's so weird. It's like you you were there, I was there, and it was just and you we know? just got sat together on the we somehow band sat together, yeah, together, and and that was like the first time you guys have had a one on one, yeah, yeah, and we yeah. were talking for hours, and then everyone was looking at us. They're like, like the weirdest people are together, you know. Susie taught me how to count in Armenian. Oh, do you still remember? Um, I think I can go to five. Let's okay, let it. me try. Okay, let me try. try. Uh, Mick. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> one syllable. Mick. Verus. No. Veros. Ercu. Ercu. Uh huh. Oh. Ercu. Uh -huh. Uh. Kereg. Irek. Irek. Uh huh. Uh. Chos. There you are. And Hing. <laughs> Perfect. There you are. Ah! You see, he learned. Wow. If anyone uh, asks you how many languages you speak, tell them you speak two. All right. <laughs> oh, you speak. Do you speak other languages? I speak like a little bit of Mandarin Chinese. Oh yeah, right. Have you you ever told heard me him that. Speak Chinese? Of yeah. course I have. Well, we went... uh, yeah, he did. He spoke to me in Chinese. I'm like, kapun cup. <laughs> <laughs> do you know Chinese too? No, that wasn't Thai. I was trying to teach oh. you how to count yeah. though. Yeah, you did, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I did forget. E. E. Er. Er. San. San. Su. Su. Wu. Wu. E. Er. San. Su. Wu. E. Er. San. Su. Wu. Mandarin. It's one, two, three, four, Mandarin. five. Yeah, Mandarin. Do you, can you speak any languages? Yeah, I speak Hebrew. I can count to ten in Korean. I, I've never and heard you speak like Hebrew. You speak fluently. Hebrew? You're, yeah. kind of, you're, you're a little shy about it, though. Well, I also like, there's also the accent, which is a huge part of it. And I have a very Americanized accent, unless I spent a lot of time in Israel with Israelis hearing it. So off the cuff right now i haven't spoken it in a while so it's gonna sound really bad but it's not tonal though no but it's like if you you know if an israeli guy comes into the room and he's like hello meth how are you doing i would like to come to my stall <laughs> like you know that that guy's not american in the same way when i speak hebrew people know that i'm not israeli oh. but, but that's the same in any language i know but it's i just feel like 
it's not even worth speaking Hebrew unless I'm doing it like with the but full I feel accent. Like, and... You know what the thing is? But I feel like that's in your head. Like you're downgrading yourself. For me, like I know if I go to Armenia, like I and I have been there, people know that Armenia is not my first language because I was born and raised in like the U.S. But I don't even take offense into it. I'm just like, all right. But you speak Armenian I, fluently. I do speak it fluently, but like it's you know what? It's like it's so beautiful, like learning different languages. I'm actually trying to learn Spanish. Okay. Yeah, I was like thinking. I was actually googling like how I could learn Spanish. I think it's so important to know. Oh yeah, growing up in Texas, like yeah. everybody speaks Spanish. Oh, I Spanish. heard you were from Texas. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. And you're from Glendale. I'm from Glendale, California. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's the most I Armenian wanted place to, to live. Bring up one thing back to languages. Oh yeah. Or, no, Mandarin Chinese though is so difficult because it's a tonal language, meaning like the same word pronounced differently has a different yeah. meaning. Like ma is like mom, ma is like grass, ma is like scolding somebody, ma like neutrally is like a question, and then like ma I think is like a donkey. Yeah, that's really. So you intense. have to be like so mindful of your tone, like, right? So you, the accent really matters. Like when wow. I do it, sometimes I'm like drawing the accent marks the, uh, the way you learn it phonetically, oh, wow. like while you do it. It's like you're like conducting an orchestra. It's so difficult, but you want to learn Spanish. Yeah, I do. Are you using Spanish. Duolingo? I, I actually Stone? just, I actually really like. I was googling it yesterday of how I could learn, and I feel like maybe I can go like Google it, like Rosetta Stone or something. Yeah, maybe uh, I du Duolingo is a really good app, though. I've Duolingo, been trying to learn. Yeah, yeah, it's an app. Yeah, I've okay. been trying to learn uh, Swedish. Got it. That's that, isn't that a hard, like a really difficult language? I heard though it's actually very easy for English speakers to learn Swedish. Really? Yeah, it's very similar. It's I think Spanish is one of the easiest to learn. Easiest, hundred percent. But you sometimes like ha trick yourself because it's still like latin based right. where you think like oh i get it i get it yeah. i get it but you're like no 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 you you kind of cheat yourself yeah. and then it becomes difficult chinese is a straight up code yeah it's like, a yeah. different you, language yeah 100 in, in chinese though their grammar is so strict it had like in english we have the the flexibility of saying like hey do you want to get drinks tomorrow at the bar? Chinese has to be you and me tomorrow at the bar. Get drinks. Do you want to? It's like you're in the mob, like the Italian mob. Hey, you and me drinks tomorrow. <laughs> We're tomorrow. going to the bar. Yeah. You want? You win or you out? Yeah. <laughs> but it's but it's so structural. But it's kind of nice. It's very satisfying once you know the code of how it breaks down. Right. But I I think you could really learn Spanish. Do you want to go to? Mexico? I do actually. Or you want to go to Spain because then you got to learn. I want to go to Mexico next year. Because but if you go to Spain, you got to learn Vesotros. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what that means. But I, you know what's crazy? I, 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 so I grew up in Southern California, and the only like I do know like a little bit of Spanish. Like I know how to say like my this is when my birthday is and stuff, and all I know is the bad words. In Spanish? Like, in Spanish, I like I can literally curse you out in Spanish. That's the only words that I know. Curse me out. That's all right. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> because then I'm gonna get canceled. So I don't want I don't want <laughs> So Armenian was your second language. Armenian well, Armenian was my first language. Okay. Oh. I learned Armenian and then I learned English. And you were born here. Though. I was born in the oh. yeah, born and raised in the so, US. But you still have an accent when you speak Armenian? I don't have an I don't have an accent, but like because I'm in another country, I'm not in, in Armenia, of course, like to them I'll have an accent. But your parents speak pretty good english though my parents speak english my parents speak russian and um uh, armenian so when was the point when you were growing up where you're hearing armenian you're learning armenian but at the same time your parents are like wait she's gonna go to school soon we got to teach her english were well they... i mean I, I i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you i don't have that i, I can't really remember but all i know <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, i don't really remember all i know is that whenever i went to kindergarten they, maybe the, my teacher taught me Okay, maybe. so you were like fresh, just like teach me how to speak English. English maybe Was I don't really remember. I've never asked my parents these questions. I just let it happen. I like. I mean, I know the language now, so thank God. But it wasn't difficult for you growing up learning how to read and write. And no, I actually, with your peers. I in English or in Armenian. In English. No, not at all. Not at all. At all. Even growing up, my mom took me to a private school every Saturdays. I stopped going to that school when I was about like thirteen. And I know how to read and write in Armenian still. And that was over 10 years ago. Wow. Like 12 years ago. And I still remember how to do it. Do you speak Armenian to your parents exclusively or do you ever speak English to them? I speak to them half and half English and Armenian. Does it come out for like certain situations? Like if you guys are just being nice and casual, yeah, is yeah. it? Armenian or when you and guys are just angry. like yelling at each other is you know, it Armenian or is it just English you know what's crazy people like if you listen to it there has been times where like I'm sure you guys have heard us speak and we're not even mad but you guys think we're mad yeah <laughs> oh, I know <laughs> there's so much like gusto behind the it's, way they talk like yeah, you were on yeah. the phone I think with your 
aunt maybe or one of your yeah, relatives yeah, yeah. and i'm just like what are they talking about and, and but we're was, not even mad we're just having like a full-on great conversation with each other <laughs> it's a very uh, aggressive sounding it's, it's, language. Yeah. you know what's crazy is a lot of people think that hebrew and armenian are the same i think it's the mediterranean languages yeah. like a lot of them arabic too when you hear it it's just yeah. people sound like they're screaming but yeah i think it's just i'm sure there's a number of factors and people have studied this but yeah those types of languages like hebrew People think you're yelling and you're not yelling. You're People, not yelling. Right. Like even the Boston accent. Yeah. It's not really you're mad. It's just the way that you speak creates an energy that makes it a little bit uncomfortable but yeah. Armenian people I think very much like Israelis you'll hear two people having a conversation and then it's like oh wait what did you need from the supermarket oh I needed an extra gallon of milk and you're like what are they screaming about yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because we have like a lot of <sighs> and, uh, yeah. you know what I mean like <sighs> like you know what I mean like we have a lot of like guttural sounds, yeah. you know and I, th I think that's the reason why but we're not wh whenever I do get mad I'll, I'll get mad in English and in Armenian Okay. Oh, you know? Okay. Yeah. Are you, Jonah and Bardon, are you guys like all pretty like equal on your Armenian uh expertise or are you better speaking it? I than... think me and Jonah are speak Armenian a little bit better. Okay. If I'm being honest Vardon's with you. a little shy about it. Vardon, it was a lot different because we were already grown up whenever Vardon was born because I was twelve or Jonah was like eleven. Okay. I think I was twelve. Yeah, I was like twelve, I think. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. But <laughs> or eleven, I, whatever. But we would speak to him in only English. So, but whenever growing up, my mom would only speak to me and Jonah in Armenian. Yeah. And and she would like teach us poems in Armenian, you know, like all that good stuff. We would go to Armenian school. But like as far as it goes for Vardon, like he just he speaks English better than he does Armenian. Oh, okay. Like I couldn't understand it when he speaks Armenian, but me and Jonah, like I feel like both of us just speak it fluently. Now, wait, are you older than Jonah? He's older than me. Okay, yeah, that's what I he, thought. He he just turned twenty six. Do you guys have a pretty close relationship? Oh, I mean, we used to. You used I mean, to, not anymore? Well, he moved out. Oh. Yeah. How has that been? Not really fun. I don't have anybody to pick on anymore. Oh, So you kind of miss him? I mean, yeah, of course. He's my brother. Yeah. When are you yeah. going to get your place? I don't want to get a place. I want all of us to move out together. All of you guys to move out together? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. want to stay with your family. I mean, yeah. Why not? Like, it's kind of, it's going to be boring if you move out by yourself. Like, what am I going to do? Talk to myself? <laughs> <laughs> what am i gonna do look at myself in the mirror and yell at myself like i can't do that <laughs> you can move on. in with us i mean i don't know i like i i <laughs> no i i don't know okay i'm just kidding <laughs> no the thing is what i love about you and i love about your family is how much you value each other right of you course. know and it's tough because like you know same thing with like mike you know we've moved away from our parents we're yeah. not with them all the time and i almost like envy how close-knit your whole family is but yeah. sometimes i'm like oh, i can't imagine though being your age and still being around my parents you know no, but the thing is is that I, th I feel like that's like the beauty of it i feel like that's the reason why the vlog squad is like the way that we are because every single person is like very different you know you guys all like live together where every there's people that like they live by themselves and then there's the antonians mm -hmm. which is the most random group of people <laughs> which somehow somehow like it, it makes sense it, it's crazy like me and you like we never we never talked we've known each other for like three four years mm -hmm. we never talked this is probably the most that we've ever talked except like when we went on the trip you know right right and like, also would not have been friends if not for the videos that david and everyone is making it's 100%. like this tapestry of personalities normally in a normal day-to-day -day life would never intersect but someone like jeff being friends with Susie, being friends with matt being friends with zane being friends with like natalie all these different types of people right. the tapestry of what you're saying is is a really unique perspective that yeah i mean i think that's why it works that's a very good perspective okay so let's go back to younger Susie. Susie, Ask what me. were you like as a kid i think i was the same growing up with jonah like jonah has always been um into a film he's always been into like being in production and stuff so growing up like i would always be like his right hand yeah so everywhere me and jonah would go together oh okay. like i'm not even like i'm not even kidding like literally me and jonah like we grew up like close with each other and like he would go like to auditions like i would take him or like he would have me go with him or there was like a one time like we did a movie together and we were like the extras and they actually like they paid us in hot dogs but like <laughs> what like but no, no no but the this thing is, is like, like not sag approved here. No, no, no 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 but let me tell you something but like the thing is is like to us since we were kids like it was like the greatest achievement ever uh -huh. like we were like oh my god like we went home we're like oh my god like jonah we made it we made it like, what movie is it i don't remember i think i think i, I don't even think it got picked up 
It's crazy. I was listening to David Blaine's. He was he was on the podcast with Joe Rogan, and he said that where they um, mentioned Susie, huh? they did mention he, me actually. No way. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's what, that. what, what did he say? <laughs> I, I, I can't believe I haven't listened to the episode. Oh, David yeah. Blaine, you haven't listened to it. Wait, so David was like, "Oh, I mean, this yeah, girl, I mean, Susie." Joe, Joe Rogan was talking about. He was like, "So you just love to get your lips sewn shut?" And he's like, "Yeah, pull up one of the videos." And they pull up the video of <gasps> Susie sewing David Blaine's yeah. lips shut. Whoa. And Joe Rogan and David Blaine are talking about like you're scaring this poor girl yeah like. i literally it was like my 10 seconds of like oh my god like it was so crazy yeah uh, but what was uh david blaine though saying he, he about... said that he said that whenever he was a younger boy like he would stay after school at the library and he would just like go into the library and he would you know go through books and stuff so the librarian one time he was she, she gave him a magic book and he learned like a magic trick and he showed his mom and his mom showed like she whenever he showed her the magic trick like she flipped out like she loved it so much and then he went out to talk that like the parents support like any kind of support that you have whenever it's something that you love it's probably like the best thing ever yeah and that's what it was for jonah it's like my parents supported what he was doing and it's crazy because in like in in a lot of like obviously in a lot of cases like parents don't support or yeah, the their hobbies and, yeah. and, and, and hobbies, yeah. yeah. And that's such like a joy that a parent gets when you see your own child like just get hooked Succeeding, on something. Yeah. You're fascinated, even if they don't even become a magician or they just go through a phase of getting really into yeah. something. Like I love hearing Jason just light up when he talks about his son Wyatt playing yeah, the guitar. Exactly. Like, that's got to. That's just got to be such a great feeling. It's amazing. And yeah, it's great that's... that your parents like were really supportive of that. Your parents have been together for a long time, right? Ever since, yeah. They were, my dad was, I think, like 27, 28. My mom was 24. Do they ever like nudge you to like find a good Armenian man or they no, don't I'm care? No, I'm already in a relationship. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, why do How? you always forget this, Matt? Well, I, it's just been a while since we've caught up. How's it going? It's going great. He's not Armenian? No, he's not. He's Persian. Persian? Yeah. And your parents Once are you cool go with Persian, that. there's no other Persian. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what is it? Once you go. <laughs> Wait, what, once you say, say it again, say it, say it again. You Is gotta it, get it out. Yeah, get... A, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I feel like it's loud. See, this is why we did the mic. What the? This is why we no, did the headset. Fine. Yeah, fine. No, it's, it's, it's gonna be fine. It's once you go Persian, there's no other version. <laughs> There's no other version. Virgin. <laughs> virgin. Virgin. Once oh. you go Persian, there's no other version. It, it, yeah, but I am in a relationship. We've been together for over a year. Why haven't we met him? You have met him. When? Or maybe you haven't. Oh, Jason met have. him. He did? Jason's met him. David's met him. I think Todd, Natalie. A lot of people have met him. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'd love to I'd love to meet him. One time I'll make sure that he comes over. What does he do? He he works at UCLA. Okay. Yeah. How did you meet him? I actually met him at a party. Yeah. I was like he come up to you? I was really drunk and I walked up to him. Oh, wow. What'd you say? I just said, Oh, I like I think you're cute. All right. This is really weird because I'm putting this out into the public, and I've no, never, like I haven't to told it. people this. So wait, yeah. You go up to him and say, "I, I, I was think like, you're oh, really I cute. think you're cute," and then he came and sat next to me, and <clears throat> I think I don't know what was going on, but I didn't even realize he was sitting next to me when I went and sat down because, like, I was I had like I had too much to drink. Um, I had like one bottle by myself. Okay. And <laughs> one whole bottle of liquor? Tequila, tequila. Yeah. It's like a little tiny bottle like oh, this okay. stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like this one, it's like that fat. So um and then he walked up to me and he's like, Oh, like he, no, I, I wanna sit down and I, I didn't realize like he came and sat next to me and then he just asked me for my Instagram and then he like slid in my DMs and it's been history ever since. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. That's great. Yeah, Susie but, and I went one on a date. He's lying. You guys went on a date together? He, listen, you want to know something? Let me, <laughs> let me, let me, it's funny. It's crazy. I actually, as I was like getting ready to come here, I was thinking about it. Mike has this idea that like he, he, he wants to date me. <laughs> no, like he's been you want, want to date me. No, seriously. he's been wanting to date me for over two years now, ever since the first time <laughs> I went to New York. In October of 2018. And that's where you two first met? That's where we, I met him, yeah. Uh -huh. And like, look, look how red he got. Yeah, we met in New York. We met in New York. Look how red he's getting. Yeah, I know. You are getting a little flushed right now. <laughs> well, we had a great time in New York. And yeah, I, and I, he keeps. I, he I, always, keep... I always like jokingly bring it up as like, remember our date in New York? And she's just so adamant about it. this. Wasn't a date, Mike. <laughs> you know what's crazy? We just hung out. There's truth to every joke, right? Uh huh. And yeah, he, all I he, said he... is we had a date in New York. Yeah, but you always say it though. So like that means that you want to date me. No, no, it doesn't. Well, think of a better joke. It's been two years, man. 
<laughs> that was a fun time. That that is. It was I, it was really fun. Yeah, we had a good time. It's a cute first date, though. See, that was <laughs> it. Wasn't the date. <laughs> you like to think it was. Yeah, it's. I mean, let me have this memory, Susie. <laughs> But you have a boyfriend now. This is great. I'm happy for you. Like, he's so pissed off. He, he's not happy. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying this episode. We're just going to take a quick break to give a word from our sponsors. Special thanks to Anchor for sponsoring this podcast. If you guys haven't heard about Anchor, it's basically the easiest way to make a podcast. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. And Anchor also will distribute your podcast for you. So it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many other places. And you can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's basically everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Thanks to Spotify for sponsoring this episode. On Spotify, you can listen to all your favorite artists and podcasts in one place for free. You don't even need a premium account and has a huge catalog of podcasts on every topic, including this one, Hoot and a Half. You can also follow your favorite podcast so you never miss an episode. And if you're a premium user, you can also download episodes to listen to offline, wherever you are. And you can also easily share whatever you're listening to with your friends on Instagram. So if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to download the Spotify app, search for Hoot and a Half on Spotify, or browse podcasts in your library tab. Also, make sure to follow me so you never miss an episode of Hoot and a Half. And now back to the episode. You know what the thing I like the most about myself is I'm very straightforward. Mm -hmm. I have I have zero filter. Yeah. Like I'll literally tell you how it is. Like I'm not gonna sit here and talk about you behind your back. Like I'll tell you to your face how I feel about you. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, like, no. I I always love that about it's, you. Yeah. You, it's, yeah. You, there's no like bullshit. Hundred percent. No. You're not there for like the small talk or the yeah. chit chat. You get straight to it. It's it's either you like me or you hate me. There's no in between. <laughs> but, and you are so quick. Like she's fast. Like all yeah. these daggers just like pull out on anybody and and, and Wait, everyone. What do you mean? Like, like no. Like even like when we're filming or whatever, you're very very quick. Like the other uh, week, Addison showed up with. Uh, the oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Okay, listen wait, to this. No, or, wait, listen you want to tell the story? No, tell it. Tell okay. it. So basically, like it. we were at Jason's, and then Addison showed up with uh, the Just Water boxes. Yeah. And immediately she goes, "Ooh, someone was at Courtney Kardashian's house today." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and because I've been to Courtney's house, and I know that's the water she drinks. So like, I put two and two together, and she's like, "She's like, oh no, I wasn't." And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then she got red. I'm like, "Don't." I'm like, "Don't lie." I'm like, "I know you were." And then she's like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. <laughs> but like, that's what I did. Like, I like, I'm really quick. Like. Like with responses, like, do you think you know? it's like a defense mechanism at all? No, I can, I can take it. Like, if I sit here and you want to shit on me, like, go ahead. I would but never like, do that to you. Yeah, but like, I have to do the same to you. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, I don't. I can be really sensitive sometimes, but other times, like, I don't think that I'm that sensitive. You're usually just a beam of positive energy. Like, if we're 100%. ever somewhere and the mood's kind of mellowed out, and then Susie shows up, it's like, wow, oh my god, Susie's here, and you're screaming and having a good time and making yeah. jokes. Yeah, and you're really in touch with your emotions. Like, you can cry like that. I feel yeah. Like. How do you know that? <laughs> you're I know a Sagittarius, you. that's why. <laughs> oh, that's true. You are. Yeah, your birthday is what? December 6th? December 8th. December 8th. Are you, are you a firm believer in horoscopes? Mi cumpleaños, December de ocho. That's the only wow. Spanish wow. I know. <laughs> Sneaking the Spanish lessons in. That's right. I'm just kidding. Uh, yo tengo viente y ocho años. I'm... You want to go tango? No. <laughs> I'm 28 years old. I'm, I turned 25 in December. So... You're 1992. Yes. 1992. Uh, April? No. Uh, July. Wait, wait, wait what, do you, what, what do you think my sign is? You told me a couple days ago. Oh, we had okay. a full-on fight about yeah, this. Yeah, we did. We did. Wait, Remember? do you believe in horoscopes? I mean, I think... Uh, uh, look, it's so-and-so, but I don't know. I think I think each person is their own person. We shouldn't have a horoscope, but define who we are, you know? Mm. Lay it down, truth. Susie. Drop the mic. Yeah, 100%. I don't want to drop I mean, it. Yeah, don't drop yeah, the mic. That's all right. <laughs> it's, it's on the table. We need that for the rest that. of the podcast.